Hey everyone, how's it going? So one of my most popular videos right now in Artland is my Mosasaurus surprise fold. And a lot of my surprise folds are very popular on here, and I want, I'm always trying to come up with some different ideas for new ones. So if you guys ever have ideas, let me know, and I'd love to try some out. But for today's video, I thought I would show you guys how to draw another surprise fold underwater scene, and I'm going to show you guys how to draw a Megalodon attacking a sub. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Megalodon surprise fold, we need to begin by folding our paper. So let's begin by taking our paper, line up the corners, and folding it in half. Then we're going to go ahead and fold it in half again, the whole thing. Make sure you really give it a nice fold down here so that we get everything really folded well and get some nice lines. Now, once I open it up, I've got these three little lines in here, and these two can work as nice guidelines for me when making my surprise fold. Now, to start off with our Megalodon surprise fold, we're going to begin right about here in the middle of our paper. I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come down, and then it's going to go back here for like the eyebrow. Then starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down, and it's going to curve up here for the eye. Inside of here, I'm going to make a little curved line. And then I'm just going to color in the rest of this. This way it looks like there's a little bit of reflection in their eye, because a lot of sharks, when they go to bite, they have that big black eye in there. Then starting here, I'm just going to add a little line or two underneath here. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and then down, right above the eye. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, and that's going to come down here. Now we're going to take this right to the fold, and then we're going to jump over the fold, and we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, and that's going to come over like this. So it kind of looks like that's the mouth. I'm going to make another little line here. And then we're going to make a little line that's just going to come down to here. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down, and another little curved line here. Then starting here for the other part of the fin, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, put a couple little like notches in it so it looks like it's kind of old and beat up, and we're going to bring this line over. We'll add another one here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. Then I'm going to make a nice tall fin up here that's going to curve back and then come down. Put a little notch in it, and then we'll come down a little farther. Then I'm going to start inside here a little bit and bring this line all the way in. And I'll bring this line over just a bit, show a little more detail. Now starting here, I'm going to make the gills. So I'm going to draw three long lines for the gills, and I'm going to leave them right underneath that fold. And then right here, I'm going to make a little curved line for the nose, and I'm going to color it in. We'll put a little line right around here. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little wavy line that's going to come down through the gills, and it's going to come right along here to show that he's got a little bit of some different color patterns on him. So we're going to start right about here. And I'm just going to make a little wavy line. I'm going to come down to the fold. I'm going to bring it down right here to the arm. Or the fin, I should say. And I'm going to make another wavy line back here. 
Now that we have our Megalodon drawn, let's open this up and add some fun details on the inside. Now once we have our picture opened up, we can start working on everything inside of here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this line down a little bit farther, and then I'm going to make this line come up a little bit farther. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm going to draw this all the way back here. And I'm going to take this line and I'm going to bring it all the way up here. And then we're going to connect them. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes down and it's going to come all the way back here for like the gums. And I'll do the same thing here. We'll go up and then we're going to bring it all the way back here. Now starting in here, we're gonna add some big sharp teeth. So I'm gonna kind of put them kind of behind each other a little bit, some in front, some in behind. We're gonna make some big sharp teeth here and we'll do the same thing here. Make some big sharp teeth in some different sizes. And if you want to, you could always add some more behind there. I think I'm just gonna leave mine like this. Next, I'm going to take this line and I'm going to just bring this line down to about here. I'm going to bring this line up and I'm going to bring it right to about there. Now, inside of here, we want to have him get ready to eat something. So I think I'm going to have him eat a submarine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a little sub. So I'm going to begin here by drawing a line that's going to come across. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down at an angle. And it's going to come right over here. Then I'm going to make this line come down and connect. Starting here, we'll make a line that's going to come up. It's going to come down at an angle and then down. We'll make a little line that goes over, down, and then back in. Right here we'll draw a line that goes up. It's going to come over and then down. Then we'll make a long line that comes down here. Right here, I'm gonna make a little rectangle shape. And then right up here, I'm gonna make another small rectangle shape. Then up here, I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna go up. It's gonna come over. We're gonna go down, over, and then down for like the periscope. And we'll add a little line right here. Add a couple little details, put some little black dots on there. And I'll add a couple little curved lines here for some more details. Then I'll add a little kind of like skinny oval shape here. Then I'm going to add some little rectangle shapes over here for like the propellers. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Megalodon surprise fold. So when we have this all folded up, we have our little Megalodon. Then when we open it up, we have his mouth open and he's about ready to eat a submarine. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.